the final quiz. Now let us try to test our understanding of all the concepts of the entire session that we have covered today. 1. Where does bill discounted appear in the balance sheet? A. Liability side of the balance sheet. B. Asset side of the balance sheet. C. Footnote to balance sheet. And D. Debit side of profit and loss account. Bill discounted appears as a footnote to the balance sheet. Once the bill is discounted, there is no bill receivable account in our books. Bill discounted is only shown as a footnote to the balance sheet because it is a contingent liability. In case, in the event of the contingency of a dishonor, we might have a liability to be back. <coughs> Therefore, 1. C. 2. A drew a bill on B. A endorsed this bill to C in settlement of his debt amounting to rupees 35,000 at 2% discount and paid 5,000 in cash. What will be the amount of the bill drawn on B? 30,000, A 30,000, B 29,700, C 29,300 and D 30,700. So C's debt was 35,000 less. 2% discount was allowed. Therefore, that is 700. So you have 34,300. And he paid 5,000 in cash. So basically, now the amount is 29,300. Therefore, the amount of the bill should be 29,300. Right answer should be 29C, sorry, 2C, 29,300. 2C, 29,300. Third, on 1st August, X draws a bill on Y for 30 days after sight. The date of acceptance is 8 August. The due date of the bill would be 8 September, A, 8 September, B, 10 September, C, 11 September, and D, 9th September. Thirty days after sight. After sight is after the date of acceptance. Therefore, it's going to be 8th August plus 30 days plus 3 days of grace. Therefore, 8th August plus 33 days. Therefore, in August, we would get 31 minus 8. Thirty one minus eight twenty three days in August, but we want another ten days, and therefore ten days in September would be tenth September. The right answer should be three B tenth September. Three B tenth September. Four. If due date is a public holiday, what will be the due date of the bill? A following day, B preceding day, C same day only, D one month later. If the due date is a public holiday, if it is a public holiday, then the due date of the bill should be the preceding day. Correct answer should be 4B. Which of the following statements is not true? Noting charges are expenses of broad. B. The bill of exchange must contain an order to pay. C. The drawer and the payee can be the same person. D. A bill of exchange can be endorsed that is passed on to another. Which of the following statements is not true? Not true. Noting charges are the expenses of the drawer. So if X draws a bill of exchange on Y, Y accepts it. Y is the person who is responsible to pay and Y would be the person 
who would have to pay the noting charges, bear the noting charges, would be the expense of the noting charges would be for Y if the bill is dishonored. Y is not the drawer, X is the drawer. So this statement is obviously wrong. The bill of exchange must contain in order to pay is true. The drawer and the payee can be the same person. X draws the bill of exchange and asks Y to pay X. X becomes the payee as well as the drawer. A bill of exchange can be endorsed. Yes, it's a negotiable instrument. It can be endorsed. All the other three statements are true. Therefore, the correct answer is 5A. Noting charges are expense of the drawer is wrong. They are the expense of the they are the expense of the drawee. So 5A. Next. A draws a bill for 20,000 for three months on 1 1 2009. Bill was discounted with a banker who charged 100 as discounting charges. At maturity, the bill returned dishonored. With what amount will the bank account be credited in the books of A? A. 19,000, B. 20,000, C. 2100, and D. 19,900. correct answer should be 20,000. If noting charges were there, their noting charges would also be included. 6B, 20,000 is the correct answer. From the following information, find out who can draw the bill if Mr. A sold goods to B. A sold goods to B. So A, A will draw a bill on B. B, B will draw a bill on A. C, none of these. D. Third party will draw a bill on A. A sold goods to B. So A will draw a bill on B. B will accept the bill. 7A should be the correct answer. 7A. 8. Which account is to be credited when an endorsed check is dishonored? A. Debtor. B. Bill receivable. C. Endorse. B. Pay. Payer. Which account is to be credited when an endorsed check is dishonored? The debtor's account has to be debited. Bill receivable will not come into the picture because it was endorsed and given to the endorsee. Therefore, endorsee should be the correct answer. The creditor's account should be credited. The endorsee suffers. Endorsee's account has to be brought back. The payer's account is the debtor's account. This would be debited. Therefore, the correct answer should be 8C. 9. When is a bill to be produced to the notary public? A. At the time of drawing the bill. B at the time of acceptance of the bill, C at the time of dishonor of the bill, and D at the time of bill for collection. Notary public only at the time of dishonor. Therefore, correct answer 9C. <coughs> 10. Ram drew a bill on Shyam on 15th April. Shyam accepted the same on 17th April for 30 days after sight. What will be the due date of the bill? A. 18th May, B. 15th May, C. 20th May, and D. 17th May. So Ram drew a bill on Shyam on 15th April, 17th April for 30 days after sight. So it should be 17th April plus 33 days. Therefore, in April, we get 30 minus 17 equal to 13 days. It does not include 17, mind you, the days after, 13 days. Plus, now we need another 20 days. So, 20 days in May. It should be 20th May. Correct answer should be 10C, 20th May.
11. Which of the following statements is false? A. Bills receivable is a negotiable instrument. B. Bills receivable must be accepted by drawing. C. There can be three parties in respect of bills of exchange, draw, draw, and pay. D. Oral bill of exchange is also valid. Which of the following statements is false, not true? Bill receivable is a negotiable instrument, is true. It must be accepted, yes, by the drawee. There are maybe three parties, the draw, drawee, and the payee. Oral bill of exchange is valid, no. So this is your correct answer. 11D is false, and therefore 11D is the correct answer. 12. X drew a bill of exchange duly accepted by Y. X then endorsed the bill to Z. The bill, however, was dishonoured. The noting charges levied on dishonour would be borne by X A, X the drawer of the bill, B, Z the holder of the bill, C, X the endorser of the bill, D, Y the payer of the bill. X drew a bill of exchange accepted by Y, X is endorsed it to Z, the bill is dishonoured. Noting charges have to be borne by the person responsible to pay, which is Y. Y, who is the payer of the bill. So the correct answer is 12D. 12D, Y, the payer of the bill. Bill receivable account is a A, nominal account, B, personal account, C, real account and D, none of the above. It is a personal account representing the account of the debtor. Representing the account of the debtor. So 13b. 14. On 1st January, X draws a bill on Y for rupees 30,000. At maturity, Y requests X to draw a fresh bill for two months together with 12% per annum interest. Noting charges are 100. The amount of interest will be A. 600 B. 602 C. 500 and D. 550 So the amount would be amount of the bill is now 30,000 at maturity draw fresh bill for two, min, two months with interest to 12% per annum. It is 30,000 plus noting charges of 100. 30,100 is the total amount due. Together with 12% interest into 12% for two months. This is two months. Fresh bill for two months. 2 by 12. Therefore, the answer should be 602. The correct answer should be 14B602. Madan drew a bill on Southern for rupees 50,000 for three months. Proceeds are to be shared equally. Madan got the bill discounted at the rate of 12% per annum and remits the required proceeds to Southern. The amount of such remittance will be A24250. B. 25,000 C. 16,167 and D. 32,333 So the amount of discount is 50,000 into 12% for 3 months. This would be 1,500 is the amount of discount. If the amount of discount is 1500, the proceeds are 50,000 minus 1500, that is 48,500. Half of 48,500 would be 24,250. Therefore, the correct answer should be 15A, 24,250. 15A, 24,250. Next. M draws a bill on N for rupees 1 lakh for 3 months. 
At maturity, the bill is return dishonored, noting charges 1000. 40 paise in a rupee is recovered from N's estate. The amount of deficiency to be recorded on insolvency in the books of N will be A. 40,400 B. 60,600 C. 39,600 D. 59,400 The bill amount is 1 lakh. But because the bill was dishonored, there were noting charges. Noting charges are also the liability of N. So 1 lakh 1000 is the total liability that N has towards N. What is recovered? 40 paise in the rupee is recovered. What is not recovered? 60 paise in the rupee is not recovered. So 60 by 100 of 1 lakh 1000 is not recovered and that would be the deficiency recorded in the books of N. This would be 60,600. Therefore, the correct answer should be 16B. 16B, 60,600. If a firm usually receives a number of promissory notes, it would be convenient to record the transaction in a separate book called A. Bills Receivable Book B. Journal C. Purchase Book and D. Sales Book Large number of promissory notes would be recorded in a separate book called the Bills Receivable Book. Promissory notes, bills of exchange would be recorded in the bills receivable book. Purchase book would record all credit purchases. Sales book would record all credit sales. Journal would record all other transactions which do not come in other paybooks. So 17A is the correct answer. 17A. 